Time to put this jigsaw puzzle together. Hello fellow modelers and styling fanatics, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing fine and enjoys the hobby. Concrete Banger is back for another one of its notorious updates. Uh, as always, your host will be Split Personalities and Parallel Universe George and we are up to part 3 of the MIN 7 ton truck by Revel with kit number 03043 in 1 to 35th scale. In this episode I have managed to put together the cabin and, uh, uh, and attach it onto the chassis. Now it was a little bit fiddly uh, and it included a lot of curses and I'm going to do a rant right now but it is what it is. So, my, uh, what my rand includes, or it's not including, I don't know if it's a rand, you guys gonna tell me. Uh, what I wanna say, I wanna say that uh, even if this kit is a bit challenging and a bit fiddly and it doesn't fall, uh, parts doesn't fall exactly in place, I still enjoy it because uh, as I said, it is still a challenge and uh, we are here to tell in this hobby we are also needed to be challenged. Uh, what I want to say when I say we need to be challenged. Okay, uh, from time to time it is great to build something like a Tamiya kit or a, or, a, or a good kit. When I say good kit, a kit that you shake the box and it instantly falls together. But uh, and other times you need to challenge yourself, you need to, to improvise, adapt on, on a build, you know, to, to learn new stuff, sharpen your skills. And this is why I am enjoy, uh, enjoying a challenging build. Uh, what I want to say, if this build wasn't here, I wouldn't challenge myself, I wouldn't sharpen my skills or uh, take, take time to think what I'm going to do next so the track looks uh, as it should be looking. Conclusion, challenge yourself guys, grab a bad kit, you never know, you are gonna, you are in for a treat, with a uh, you, you, you are in for a treat, you know, you may be in for a treat, it will surely uh, pisses you off, but then it's going to be uh, wonderful if you um, if you manage to put it together, it's gonna be challenging, it's gonna worth the effort, you're gonna be a sense of fulfillment if you put it together right and you, you say, oh, I did that, even, even though it had enough problems, I did put that together. And you're definitely going to uh, train on troubleshooting, you're definitely going to learn. So, what my advice is? grab a not so good kit practice it's gonna it's gonna teach you stuff anyway rant over i hope you guys <laughs> weren't bored and you cut my drift i want to hear your opinions in the comment section below about that let's see what past george did Hi guys, welcome to part 3 of the MIN 7 ton track. As, as I said in the intro, time to put this jigsaw puzzle together. So, what you look in front of you, it is the piece, it is the three pieces that I have to attach the clear parts onto. What I did off camera was to paint the other side. I have already painted the inside in my previous update. And in this one, off camera of course, I have painted the outer side. This is only a base coat, 
uh, the track is going to be on a three tone camo scheme so uh, keep in mind that this is not its final form now what why I did paint the outer side you may ask I did paint the outer side so because I will now attach the clear parts and at least with the base coat applied I have me I I minimize the danger of paint uh, onto my clear parts of of staining uh, the clear parts with paint that's how I should say it properly now what's my next course of action will be now that I have painted those as I've said I will attach the clear pieces with some PVA glue so guys as you can see I have already attached every, every clear piece onto our sub assemblies everything work together uh, fell together nicely this is how they look I know that you can see some minor scratches as I move it onto the light but that's the way the pieces are molded this is this is the driver side co driver side and of course the front of the truck the pieces are looking good you can see no distortion as you look through them okay they need some clean up but we're gonna do that at the end now it is the time for me to put that huge jigsaw puzzle together and we're gonna start from the application of the dashboard over here at the front panel of the track that's the first part that we are going to attach so it goes like this over here let me see right like this I'm gonna leave this aside now until it dries and we're going to move on to our floor pan now over here we need to attach the co-driver seats and the driver seat and of course this rear panel which goes like that let's start from the rear panel since it's the biggest part So far, so good my friends, now I will need to uh, give these parts some time, this sub assembly is some time to let the glue set and uh, I also want to be sure that everything is positioned correctly and then we're going to move on to our next step, our next step will be to uh, detail paint the gear shift knob and the uh, the steering wheel assembly the steering column assembly I'm gonna remove them from the sprues detail paint them and I'm going to be back now that the glue is cured let's move on to our next piece so uh, while I was waiting for the glue to cure I have gotten ready my steering wheel as you can see it's all painted and detail painted the steering column over here I am a little bit maniac when it comes to detail painting and many colors and 
ואה, להגיע לסיף נוב. So, now we are going to attach the driver's uh, door side panel onto our floor panel. And normally we should attach this one, but I'm going one piece at a time. I just, I'm just being extra cautious. So, it, because I would just want to be sure that everything lines up correctly. Let's attach the gear shift knob. It has to be positioned over here, and I'm too close to the camera right now as we speak. And now for the driver's door. As you can probably see, there are indentation marks for where each panel needs to go. So these two need to sandwich the 90 degree angle part. This one and this one need to go underneath, underneath the floor panel. So it should it should go somewhere like uh, la, 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 la. here let me bring it in frame uh, i knocked it off so according to my calculations and According also to the instructions, parts need to go like this. You see me applying Tamiya Extra Thin and not CA. I have found that Tamiya penetrates Vallejo paints and you don't need to use CA glue. To add the uh, two glue pieces together, this glue works fine, and this is the code drive. The uh, code drive, no, the driver's door assembly attached onto our floor pan. I'm gonna leave it like this. Wait for that one to cure, and then we're going to be back for the. For this panel, for the front panel to go onto our sub assembly. But before I'm gonna do that, we are going to attach the steering wheel at the steering column. Because I, do, I wanna do that in front of the video, so. Because I want to cut as, as much as possible from this build and every build in front of the camera. Oh, I probably got it in one go. All dry and ready to go. Let's see if we can install the faceplate. Found a new <laughs> name for this one. But before we do that, let's install the steering wheel because now it is a, it's the time to do that. Sketch. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, leave it over there. And I'm gonna do the fine tuning after I install the faceplate. So, there is this round thing and there is this ridge over here where my finger is pointing. You've and there we go. And as I said, of course, this one is gonna be a little bit of a hustle, but anyway. There we have it. Next up, guys, let me see my instructions. No, 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 no. Okay, next up we have all the other panels and the roof. Now, which one I'm gonna do exactly? We're gonna see. Huh. Hurry, hurry, step right up. It's time for the next panel. 
Now, before I start working on the next panel, I want to uh, tell you guys how what's the way I am thinking when I am ta- attaching uh, those panels. So, if anybody of you finds himself in a tight, situ- tight, quote unquote, tight situation like this, that's my hint. So. Right now, I am supposedly at st- on step 34. Step th- 34 has this one, this panel attached as well, and the roof panel. But since I'm going one piece at a time, I will attach this one first because it has more connection points than all the other. Which means that if all this is right, this one will be right also and it will uh, also provide more attachment points for this one so more and more um, opportunities for this one to be correct as well because right now if I want to attach this one it only attaches to this one and this one but if I will attach this one first it, this one will attach to this one, this one and this one it, it will have three connection points then which means that less possibilities to make a mistake now that's my story I'm sticking with it and let's start so we have this panel as I said it goes like this over here let me position position it correctly correctly I said yep and together with this panel on top of it we have to attach this small part which is supposed to go over here let me grab the other set of tweezers We have a problem here. Anyway, we're gonna see how it go, how I'm gonna fix it. This one is supposed to go all the way to the circle over here, but it doesn't reach anywhere near. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna attach it, and we're gonna see how we are going to take care of the circle. This is a problem for another time. My main problem right now is to get the jigsaw puzzle in place. Oh, these old kids from Revel is a challenge. Anyway, I do enjoy challenges. So quick troubleshoot and the attachment of the rear part. Troubleshoot I have uh, the trouble I have uh, encountered here has a quick solution. So I cut it the rod and that I attached it at the end. I'm gonna uh, later I'm gonna cut it all off. You know I'm gonna do a cut over here. I'm gonna make shift my own rod and connect the two pieces. But now it's not the time, as I said, this problem will have to wait, this small issue we have to wait. And now we continue on. So, this one has this connection point and that, and needs to go in between those pieces, and that one needs to go somewhere there. So let's see if I can attach it properly so somewhere here I reckon now let me tweak it off camera and we're gonna see how this one goes for our next step if I was following the instructions it is the time for the lid the roof lid 
it should go should go over here and top it all off but I'm not gonna do that I'm uh, next up I'm going to attach the passenger side window and then I'm going to attach the lid because I don't know why I just want to do it like this so I'm gonna tweak this one a little bit more if, uh, to see if it's properly in place then I'm we are going to be back to attach this one and then we are going to attach the lid of course passenger side door time now guys and let's see how this one goes so Ooh, this one needs a little bit tweaking anyway let me do this in place now as you can see here there is a small thing that there is a small gap the whole assembly needs to be pushed forward like this and we have almost made it to the end and when I say the end the, the time has come for me to install the lid install the lid and see what we have accomplished crucial time for us either the lid is gonna go like a glove and gonna top it all off either we're gonna need some extra tweaking now let me uh, secure that in place yes let me secure that in place time for the lids for the lid to be honest so I have some bad news guys and uh, probably some good news together uh, before I record this video I have test fitted the part and we have some issues so my, my main issue is over here the huge gap you can as you can see and over here the same from what I can understand probably this one over here is a problem I know that this one is uh, higher from everything but this is supposed to be like this so since this one is the problem here I will sand it down and uh, while I do that I will going to dry fit the, uh, the roof part uh, often to see how uh, to see how good is the process probably this will this will fix the, this issue and we're gonna have a, a tight fit you know it's gonna sit flat so I'm gonna do that off camera because you don't need to see all that sanding it is boring and I'm gonna be back to tell you what happened okay guys I think that operation was a success the patient is almost alive <laughs> take a look at that now I think that I will be able to glue it like this and keep it glued together so what I did to of to reach the stage of course I sanded it a lot of this one I made a round curve over here because it was impossible for me to do it like this you know to do an angle and I have also sanded a mold line yeah I'm gonna call it a mold line that was over here you can see not all of it half of it the other half is over here because it needs to go and close the lid over here but through the, the process of sanding, I knocked this part out, which is uh, not a huge problem, is a minor issue for me. What I'm gonna do now, I'm going to start gluing the lid, but I'm gonna do it off camera. I'm gonna explain you why. Uh, I will glue it in stages, and when I say in stages, I will apply glue over here only. 
and install the lid then I will apply it on the sides until this way uh, until uh, halfway and I'm gonna glue it in stages because I want it to uh, I want to control it fully you know if it's glued over here and then glued over here I can keep it like this and not uh, not do damage over here so uh, I'm gonna do it this way I hope that you understand what my plan is because I'm not so good at explaining so guys after quite some struggle and cursing and various other stuff I have managed to make a, 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 the cabin one in one piece okay it just have a slightly small gap you could not uh, see it through the camera and uh, to be honest with you you couldn't even see it up close and personal until you know where to look at anyway I reattached this rear part to fit it correctly and that's how it is looking this is the interior shot and over here I have managed to remodel this part by, by using the old rod this small one and this white thing this white rod is this one which it is used for covid self tests you know it's the things that you stick on your nose anyway I have a bunch of them due to my work but I never used them because I have been vaccinated so what I did before I throw them away is to keep those uh, plastic rods just in case so now that this thing is in one piece we have to attach two small parts over here at the side and of course the, the, the side mirrors which I'm gonna leave up until the very end mainly because I'm gonna surely knock them off so we go for part number one which is none other than the fuel hose and when I say the fuel hose you're gonna see what I mean exactly it is the neck of the fuel tank and we have this ladder thingy which is supposed to go over here like this now uh, instructions state according to instructions to be honest with you we are on step 35 I've just seen it finished step 35 with the addition of those two pieces and step 36 is the attachment of the truck cabin onto the chassis now hmm, I'm going I'm going to have two let this part dry because it, because it is a fiddly piece and it has only these two small connection points and nothing else and I'm going to be back for the attachment of the cabin onto the chassis and there we have it guys I have glued it off camera because it was a little bit fiddly and I was uh, out of frame all the time I have as you can see I have attached the cabin onto the chassis things are looking pretty good if you ask me and everything go did go as I have planned 
Now we just according to this according to the instructions once again we have just finished step 36 and step 30, 37 is the attachment of the exhaust pipes. Uh, exhaust pipes start from let me grab a pointer. As I said, exhaust pipes start from over here somewhere and they wrap around the chassis and finish somewhere here which is the exhaust muffler so these are the parts for the muffler over here and all these are the pipes I have left two of them intentionally onto the sprue because I need I still need the the numbers so I can know which which part is which anyway next step is to attach uh, all the exhaust pieces and wrap it around the chassis one of them this one needs to go around the chassis uh, I'm not gonna do this on this episode because I have enough stock footage and it is already a long episode this one has to wait until the next update I hope that you guys enjoyed this one I know that it was quite boring but it is what it is <laughs> we have boring stuff on our hobby you know guys how uh, you know guys how the drill goes anyway that was past George signing out and with all that said and done we have made it to the end of this episode on our next episode we will probably uh, be finishing with the exhaust assembly as I said we we'll be finishing we we'll probably going to start with the exhaust assembly and probably we are going to move on to uh, the track bed anyway I hope you guys found this video helpful or interesting and stick along for the rest of the build. Before I go, I want to thank each and every one of you guys that watched this video. A special thank you to my old subscribers. You guys are the best and you are the reason I keep doing these videos. For the newcomers out there, welcome guys. I hope that you like what I do. If so, you all know what to do. Leave a like. Comment with your thoughts and opinions, share the video if you believe that it deserves to be shared, or even consider subscribing for more builds to come your way. Until the next time fellow modelers and friends, take care and model on, it was that more for Damon, signing out.